I caught my crush having fun with another woman. What a surprise! My best friend Rose. Meet the love of my life, the incomparable Janie. Alex and I had been friends since childhood, but he never saw me as a woman. Nice to meet you, Rose. If you don't mind, we'll just carry on. The next morning, I heard someone arguing outside the window. His great love has quickly passed, just like all the previous ones. Need help and hugs? Come to me. Hmm. He met me looking amazingly handsome, wearing a suit and holding a bouquet of red roses. Did Alex dump Jenny because he saw my confession? However, his following hmm. words quickly brought me back to reality. Can you take some pictures of me for the dating app? I want to pick up as many hot cheeks as possible. My dream was shattered like the Titanic when it hit hmm. an iceberg. So, what kind of girl are you looking for? Beautiful, kind, one that will understand me, just like you do. <gasps> His words gave me hope again. I had to tell him about my feelings, but this time hmm. in private. Suddenly I remembered, Alex was a basketball player, and the final game of the season would soon take place. <gasps> You'll win, as always. Let's have a friendly winner's party. Hmm. <laughs> on game day, I put on the perfect makeup, did my hair, and chose a dress similar to the ones Alex's exes used to wear. Because actually, I planned a romantic date at his house, where I tell him about my feelings. I got a lot of admiring glances at the stadium. Most importantly, Alex was impressed and dedicated the winning shot to me. You are the most charming girl in here. I felt goosebumps from head to toe, especially my heart. Inspired, I rushed to Alex's house in order to get everything ready while he was changing after the game. Scented candles, classical music, champagne. My dream was about to come true. All of a sudden, the door downstairs opened. It was Alex. It's hard to believe that such a beauty was on a dating app. He was not alone. I didn't know where to go, but I definitely <gasps> couldn't stay in that room. So I hid in the closet out of fear. Through a gap, I saw Alex walk into the room with the blonde girl that was sitting behind me at the game. She was the one, not me, Alex dedicated the victory to. Wow! And when did you do all of this? I didn't know you were such a romantic. To be honest, neither did I. Alex went out to grab some drinks, and I got a text on my phone. Rosie, thanks for the surprise. Julia and I are having a great time. Glad to have a BFF like you. And before I could text him back... What are you doing here? I was totally confused. So much that I didn't know what to say. The stranger grabbed my phone and put the pieces together. Oh, so it was you who came up with all this romantic stuff for Alex. <laughs> so naive. Monsters like you can only stay in the friend zone. Barely holding back my tears, I ran down the fire escape. I felt miserable. 
What was I hoping for? Alex and I would never be together. At home, I made a firm decision. It was time to get out of the friend zone I spent the last 10 years in. On the internet, I found a formula to destroy unrecruited feelings. And started following the instructions. Step number one. Minimize contact. Step number two. Take time for yourself. And step number three, the most important one, start communicating with other men. It was time for me to create a profile on a dating app. One of the first profiles I saw was Alex's. But I firmly disliked him and kept looking at other guys. I was at it for several hours and felt like a complete loser because I couldn't get a single match. Suddenly, I got a notification. A handsome basketball player liked me. Nate played for the team that Alex faced in the final. Whoa, I can't believe you're here. You are the most beautiful girl at the game. Nate immediately asked me out. I don't understand how Alex missed a babe such as you. By the end of the evening, Nate took my hands and tried to kiss me. I wasn't ready for things to develop so rapidly. Fortunately, he was very sensitive and understood me. I'm ready to wait for as long as it takes. The rest of the date, Nate was a gentleman and even walked me home. But as I rejoiced over my first night without Alex, he showed up at my door. <gasps> Nate is not right for you. He promised that he would take revenge for losing the final. I want to save you from that scoundrel. Then he put his lips close to my ear and whispered. Nate wants to take away the most precious thing to me. You, my friend. That friend zone related word brought me back to reality. Holding back my tears, I pulled my hand away. I don't need your protection. We're not kids anymore. I shut the door without waiting for his response and promptly texted Nate. Come to my place. We have unfinished business to take care of. I wanted to get revenge on Alex, so I kissed Nate right by the window. But he quickly demanded more. Let's slow down, okay? He ignored my pleas. Alex took my cup, so I'll take you. <laughs> Suddenly, my bedroom window shattered, and I saw Alex. He threw Nate to the floor while I called the police who arrested him. He was charged with sexual assault. I was sitting by the broken window in a stupor, lamenting my failed personal life when I saw a message from the house across the street. Come to me. Help and hugs. I went to Alex with one question on my mind. Why did Nate choose me? It was hard for him to even say a word. <sighs> But he did. Because Hinata is something that I couldn't for many years. You are the one I've loved this whole time. Alex's hands pulled me close, and we confirmed our feelings with a sweet kiss. Remember, sometimes happiness is right next to you. You just have to dare take it. <laughs>